What's up, YouTube? Derek here again, and this one's a little bit different. I was playing MLB The Show and talking to chat, and we started talking about video games, but the whole COVID situation going on and expectations from video games developers and, and things like that and, and what gamers should expect. So this is a short video, but kind of wanted to do something different. So you guys have fun. Take a look. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, strive for the best version of your day. Average, I have the new uh, PS5. Only downside right now. Is that on some games, online profiles aren't transferring over. So a couple games that I have, Need for Speed Heat. I basically had to start over from scratch online, which sucks. Uh, PGA. They still have my progress, like my level up is great and fine. I, uh, but I have to remake my golfer when I booted that up last night, so I'm not looking forward to that. Florida is just letting it ride. Set up the inside and then I mean, the Browns are now getting caught and with COVID. Honestly, I love the PS5 right now. I was excited to get the PS5 when it was coming out, but now that I have it and I'm actually playing with it, it's pretty legit. Um, definitely improved this game. But as much as people talk about it, I don't want to be like everybody else, but the controller really is badass and and has the possibility to be a game changer. Um, but even playing MLB The Show, the 60 frames per second uh, makes a world of difference. The upside to closing is that if you got a system, especially next gen, you're set to go. Eh. Kinda. The the downside of COVID that people forget though, especially for people who have the systems, is that these games are being delayed because of COVID, and I think people forget that. Um, so then they have higher expectations for all these developers and and wanting to have games come out and wanting to have content come out like we got spoiled with them will be the show because san diego studios essentially came up with so much content um that it worked but not a lot of developers and not a lot of companies can do that so we've seen a lot of delays with that and but people keep their expectations high and i think they forget that so he sets him down These developers are working from home just like everybody else is. How did I get the, PS, the PS5, Governor? So I got lucky. I actually have both the PS5 and the Xbox. But uh, I got lucky with the PlayStation the first day that pre-orders dropped. I tried basically every site, couldn't get anything. Was on Best Buy. Was able to get one in my cart. But then, of course, it wouldn't process. Um, so I just left it in my cart. And then literally later that day, at like 3 o'clock in the morning, the next morning, technically, I hopped in my cart. It was still there, and, and I was able to process it. So I got really lucky. That was the first day that uh, pre-orders were available, what, back in September? So going through, best, going through PlayStation is the best way. It's possible that that's now the best way to go. I mean, that's the other part with... COVID too, right, is we're seeing less production of systems no and probably less available, down. although they sold a ton of systems, but it's keeping up with the demand because people have nothing to do. So more people are buying systems. The but the hardest thing with the PlayStation is that, or the Xbox, there's just not a lot of, like there's a lot of good launch day titles. But like someone like me, I'm not the, oh, he quit. I'm not the biggest fan of RPGs. So I don't play a lot of RPGs and that's what all these games are right now. So it's hard for me. Like I bought the two games I have for the system right now is Black Ops 
and I have Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks being free, so I downloaded it. Everything else I have, I still have on the PlayStation Four.